I was not asleep, but I still didn't see it. But if you were up between midnight and 5.30 this morning, that was the peak time to see this meteor light show. It was the time where you could see up to 100 shooting stars per hour. Some of them, like that one, you can see there, like a fireball. There were other colours as well, the reds, the greens and blues. And as you said, this happens every year when the Earth passes through the debris left behind by a comet that swept through the solar system in 1992. And that's when these fragments of dust, some of them as small as a grain of sand, they go through the Earth's atmosphere, they speed up and then they heat up. Really high heat, between 1.5 to 5.5 thousand Celsius. And that is what creates that spectacular light show that you can see now on your screen. Now, this usually runs from about mid-July to about end of August, but peak time to actually see it in the night sky is this weekend and usually better also in the northern hemisphere where we are it's better view of it now if you missed it last night there's still a good chance of catching it tonight if you want to stay up between midnight again and the early hours of monday there's still a good chance that you'll catch the show but of course it is better if you're in the countryside if you haven't got any light pollutions busy city streets street lighting it's always much better to be able to catch it but even if you are in the city scientists say give it a go you might get lucky it will definitely be worth staying up for